Morning Thrive. I am Miss Sarah. I work at the school campus. So I'm the school campus site director. I'm over at Lawnsville Elementary School, working with second, third, fourth, and fifth graders. I'm going to read a Devo for you today and have I'll have a couple questions that we'll talk about as well. So you've probably heard your teachers from Thrive read out of this book, or you maybe have even watched one of the Thrive YouTube videos um, from this book, but it's called Thoughts to Make Your Heart Sing, and it is not the Bible, but it talks about the Bible, it talks about God, it even gives us some verses from the Bible to think about. So this Devo is talking about Jesus, and I'm going to actually wait to tell you more about it because I want you to think about a couple things before I show you the picture before I read the Devo so that you can be thinking about some of these things beforehand. But first, I'm going to pray for us. While I pray, I like to close my eyes so that I can focus on God and give Him my full attention. You don't have to do that, but I want you to find a way that you can pray and focus on the Lord in this time and not be distracted by the things around you. Whether it's closing your eyes and bowing your head, sometimes I'll get on my knees and close my eyes and bow my head, um, whatever is most helpful for you. Let's pray. God, we thank you so much for today. I thank you for the sunshine. Um, thank you for the chance to look around us and see the beauty of your creation that tells us about your glory and about your beauty and about your power. I pray that this Devo will remind us of your love um, that will it will remind us of um, how you sent your son to down the cross for our sins because you love us and because you want us to trust in Jesus and um, to live for you and to be with you um, for eternity forever. So thank you for sending Jesus. Um, thank you for the fact that he rose again and defeated death. I pray for all the, the kids that are watching this. Um, pray that you'll protect them. Pray that they will be full of peace and joy um, and that you will um, just remind them of your love in this devotional. We pray all those things in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so this Devo is titled Helpless. So I'm going to ask you a question. I want you to think about it before I show you the picture. What animal does the Bible say 400 times? Oh, that's a lot. That people are most like. Think about that for a second. Hmm. So there's an animal in the Bible that God mentions. And in fact, mentions 400 times that people are most like. And let me give you a hint. It's an animal that's very helpless. Hmm. Let me show you the picture. <laughs> it's pretty silly. This is the animal that we're talking about a sheep. And if you notice, it's on its back with its legs up. I wonder why it's doing that. It looks a little bit stuck to me. Like maybe it needs the help of someone else to come along and help it get back up on its feet. Let's keep that picture in mind as I read this Devo. So again, it's called Helpless. The animal that the Bible says 400 times that people are most like, oh dear, it's sheep. Sheep aren't clever or smart at all. They're foolish. For instance, sometimes they just topple over or fall over and can't get themselves back up again. They just lie there. They're constantly falling off cliffs, going to unsafe places and getting stuck, or eating poisonous things, getting hurt, running off and getting lost, or not finding their way back home again. Even if their fold or the other sheep that's in the group is in plain sight. So that means they're going to run off and they can't even find their way back home again, even if the other sheep are literally right there in front of them. So you see, sheep are completely helpless on their own and desperately need a shepherd. God says we are helpless on our own too, just like those sheep. And we desperately need a shepherd, which is why he gave us Jesus. So the Bible talks about Jesus as the good shepherd. And shepherds, their whole job is to take care of and protect and love sheep. But that's what Jesus does for us. 
He takes care of us. He loves us. He protects us. We cannot do anything on our own. So we're full of sin. We make bad choices. We're completely helpless, just like these sheep that we just talked about. Just like this sheep here on its back. That's just like us. We cannot do this on our own. We can't save ourselves. We can't forgive ourselves from sin. So God sent Jesus to die on the cross and come back to life, defeating death, so that Jesus can be our good shepherd, um, so that he can save us from our sins because we are helpless on our own. So I'm going to read a verse from this book called Isaiah. Isaiah was a prophet or a messenger of God in the Old Testament who told people about God um, to turn away from their sin, to turn towards um, the coming Messiah. So he was telling people, God's going to send a Savior. He's going to send Jesus to die on the cross for for your sins. So trust in God. Um, It's a book in the Bible that's right after the Psalms. So it's almost like halfway through your Bible. If you want to pause this video, you could pause it and find it in your Bible and read along with me. But I'll be in the book of Isaiah, and I'll be in chapter 40. So there's a big number 40 at the top of the page right here, and that is what you're looking for. So Isaiah chapter 40, and I'm going to read verse 11. And it says, He, or Jesus, will tend his flock, take care of his flock, like a shepherd, he will gather the lambs in his arms. So this verse is telling us that just like a shepherd will take care of his flock, Jesus takes care of us. And it says that he will gather the lambs in his arms. Something that I read was that shepherds, when they have a sheep that goes astray or that leaves the group and gets lost, The shepherd goes after that sheep and he actually takes the sheep and he puts it around his neck and he lets the sheep just kind of sit there and the sheep then gets used to the shepherd's voice so that whenever the sheep is put back down on the ground and it hears the shepherd's voice, it wants to go to the shepherd because it knows the voice of the shepherd and it's familiar with the shepherd and it feels secure and protected by the shepherd because the sheep knows his voice. And that's like us with God. As we read the Bible and pray to God and listen um, for God to speak to us in our hearts, we know his voice. And so when we hear his voice, we know, okay, that's the voice of God. This truth in this book, in the Bible, these things I can, I can trust. I can trust in this God. I can trust in the truth of, of his word. And we then get to know his voice and it brings us peace, and it brings us security, and it um, allows us to feel um, protected. And um, God is in that. He's our com- He's our comfort, our comforter. So I want us to be thinking about God as the good, or Jesus as the good shepherd, um, who cares for his sheep, who cares for his people, and loves us so so much that he would die on the cross to save us from our sins, um, so that um, if we trust in him, then he becomes the Lord of our lives, um, and we then can be with God for all of eternity, which means forever. Um, Let me pray for us, and then we'll be done with our Devo. God, thank you so much for this truth. Thank you that you sent Jesus to die on the cross to save us from our sins. Thank you that um, you're the good shepherd who cares for your people, who cares for your sheep. I pray for, again, all of the kids that are listening to this and watching this and pray that you will remind them how much you love them and that um, you'll keep them safe and um, just allow them to have good time with uh, their families and friends. Um, Even though they might not be able to see people in person, I pray that you'll still give them a lot of great time um, with those around them. And I pray all these things in Jesus' name, who we love. Amen. All right. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll be seeing you soon.